Okay guys, in this video, we're gonna look at how to do a wet to dry dressing change. Make sure that you have watched the video on wound assessment because that takes place before we actually apply the new dressing. So in this case, our patient has a lower abdominal open wound. We've already removed the old dressing and assessed the wound. So now we need to get ready for the dressing change itself. You can start by putting on your sterile gloves if all of your dressing supplies are set up. In this case, we have a dressing change kit that has already been opened so that we have access to the sterile supplies inside of it. If your facility doesn't have a dressing change kit, you can get two packs of sterile 4x4 gauze and uh, one ABD pad or abdominal pad. And you want to open those and prep all of that before you put your sterile gloves on because the outside of those packages are not sterile. Depending on the size of the wound, you might even need two, three, or four uh, packs of sterile gauze. So just be aware. Um, and I always like to pass this on in report. Hey, I needed three packs of sterile gauze for this. So once you get your sterile gloves on, you can start actually prepping the gauze and your dressing supplies itself. So in this case, we've got both dry, we have dry gauze in our kit, but we want some of it to be wet with sterile saline and some of it not. So separate some of your gauze so that you have the dry gauze that you need. And then if you have a sterile bottle of saline, you're going to open that and you're going to soak half of your gauze in sterile saline. Again, this is a wet to dry dressing. So we're gonna go in wet and it gets pulled out dry. Once you've soaked half of your gauze, you're going to pick up one piece of the saline soaked gauze at a time. You wanna open it fully and then wring it out. So we want it to have, we want it to be wet, but we don't want it to be dripping wet. If you remember when we talk about selecting a dressing, we talk about how we want the wound to be not too wet, not too dry. So make sure that you do wring out the excess saline. Then you're gonna pick up your sterile forceps and you're gonna use your the sterile forceps to help push the packing into the wound. Just be careful that your fingers don't touch the edges of the wound at this point because otherwise you your gloves won't be sterile anymore. Now, depending on the state of your wound, you might have orders to do a wound cleanser spray. You would do that before you went sterile and pat it dry with sterile gauze, then go sterile and begin this process. So repeat this packing process with each piece of gauze. You don't wanna pack the wound too tightly, but you do want to make sure that the surface of the wound bed is entirely covered with that saline soaked gauze. One of the biggest benefits of a wet to dry dressing is it actually helps with debridement. That wetness as it dries, it pulls uh, some excess uh, tissue from the side walls um, so that when we pull that packing out, we can actually pull out some of that dead tissue. So if the dressing itself is not in contact with the walls of the wound, that doesn't help anything. So once you have the wound fully packed, again, not too tightly, but covering the wound bed, you're actually gonna cover this part with a couple of pieces of dry gauze. And this is just to help separate it from the external dressing so that the wetness from the internal packing doesn't transfer over to the external dressing. Then you're gonna take your ABD pad and cover that dry gauze with your ABD pad. Now every dressing is different. Make sure that you know what your orders are but in this case, we'll then take tape and we'll secure all four sides of this ABD pad. Now, in this case, we're using one inch tape, which is perfectly acceptable. I personally love three inch wide silk tape. I think it sticks better. I think it gives you a better coverage on your dressing um, and it just is more convenient. Now you'll notice he's touching the old dressing and, this, and the sheets and things. At this point, you're your wound is covered. And so if you touch the skin, if you touch the gown, it's okay at this point. You don't need to be sterile. Once you get your dressing in place, make sure you time, date, and initial it, and then document your dressing change and your wound assessment. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Sometimes these dressing changes and sterile technique can be really intimidating, but the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. 
We believe in you guys. You've got this. Now go out and be your best selves today. And as always, happy nursing. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.